seen a rock, paper, scissors bout, then you're in for a treat. But first, you need to understand the rules. There are three different signs that you can make. A rock, a pair of scissors, or a piece of paper. So you count one, two, three, and on three, you show whatever sign you want. Well, how do you know who wins? Well, rock beats scissors, scissors beat paper, and paper beats rock. So, for each round, what are the possible outcomes? Well, obviously you can win or lose, but is there anything else? Ah, uh, yes, you can tie as well. This diagram shows the beginning of a tree diagram, which we've seen in class. So for round one, we can either win, lose, or tie. But what is the probability of winning, losing, or reaching a tie? And what are the total number of possible outcomes? Well, since there are three total possibilities, and winning is only one of them, then you have a one-third chance of winning. As you can figure out, they all have a probability of one-third, or about 33%. The total number of possible outcomes is obviously three. Continuing with our tree diagram, we can see what happens in round two. If you won the first round, then what are your possibilities the second round? Well, they're the same. You can either win, lose, or tie. If you lost the first round, you can still win, lose, or tie. And if you tied the first round, you can still win, lose, or tie. So, what are the total number of outcomes after round two? Well, as you can see, the chart on the right represents what we call the sample space, or the total number of outcomes. So you can win, 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 lose, win, tie, lose, win, lose, lose, or lose, tie, or tie win, tie lose, or tie tie, which equals nine possible outcomes. What do you think will happen in round three? Okay, let's check back in with our fighters. Huh. Well, while these guys duke it out, we're going to start our own battles. What I want you to do is partner up with somebody in your class and battle for 18 rounds. Now, after each round, I want you to record each win and each loss in a frequency table, which means that everyone in the class will have to make their own frequency table. Of course, in the top left-hand corner, you will write the subject, then the tally and frequency, and then our possible options. However, this time, we're going to eliminate the tie. So if you and your partner do tie, simply try again until you're able to record a win or a loss. Remember, 18 rounds. Good luck. good to have you back. I hope your battle scars are minimal. Now at this point, each person should have their own individual information. But before we look at this, let's talk about a term called theoretical probability. Theoretical probability is what should happen, or what we expect to happen, before we begin our battle. In a fair game like this one, how many times should you win? How many times should you lose? Well, since there are only two options, and winning is one of them, you should win one half or 50% of the time. The same applies to losing. So, the theoretical probability of winning or losing is one half or 50%, which means that you should win or lose exactly half the time. But wait, is that what actually happened? No, probably not. You see, we conducted an experiment and so our answers probably vary. This is known as experimental probability. It's what actually occurs when you conduct the experiment. So what is our experimental probability? Out of 18 rounds, how many did you win? Well, if you won seven rounds, then the experimental probability of winning is seven eighteenths. Now, pause the video and collect the rest of your data from your class.
Now find the mean, median, mode, and range of your class data. Remember to separate your wins and your losses. You may pause the video to answer these questions. The mean of the number of wins should have been 9. Well, how did I know? If your class mean wasn't 9, what do you think went wrong? Do you think the mean of the losses will be the same? Now let's see how our fighters are doing. Hey, who's winning? I don't know, man. What, you mean you haven't been keeping score? No, man. Oh. Huh. What are we going to do? I don't know. <laughs> Where'd that come from? <laughs> I don't know. Where'd that come from? I don't know. Hey. outcome. Now remember, probability cannot account for unforeseen results. 